Let's take a look under the surface of this modern take of a classic Barlow, the real steel Barlow RB5. This is a stylish and well-constructed knife and I wanted to show it to you without the scales on so you can see how well made it is. Just before I get into the review I'd just like to say a really big thank you to Retro Stew from the Slip Joint Sanitarium Discord group who actually gave me this knife and from Slip Joint Sawyer who had a giveaway. This giveaway was won by, by Retro Stew and uh, Retro Stew already had one of these. So he very kindly sent it on to me. Um, paying forward this kindness, I will be sharing this around as a traveling knife with a few of the other UK creators. Hopefully they can do reviews as well. Slip Joint Sawyer has already done a review of this and I'll put a link to his review in the description below. Of course, the knife isn't meant to look like this. So let's put the scales on. The great thing about this is that it has interchangeable scales with just a couple of torque screws to hold it on. You can see it's really easy to fit, even for a newbie like me. Um, it's not complicated at all. So they just slide on and then this torque screw holds it in place. We can see on the other side, this uh, scale has the wire clip as well, the pocket clip and this is interchangeable, it can be on either side. Again, it slides on and then there's just a small torque screw to put in place. I have a little bit of trouble with this and uh, for this, because of the spring in the clip, you just need to push down a little bit to get the torque screw to bite. There we are, that's done. Now this looks a lot better, doesn't it? So this is the real steel Barlow. Now we've seen the knife, let's take a look to see what came in the box with it. Here you can see the great box that it came in from real steel. With it, there's a cleaning cloth, which is really handy as the blade shows a lot of fingerprints. There's a couple of pieces of paper with some uh, QR codes to help you get to the real steel site and there's instructions for putting it together or taking it apart. There's also this uh, badge as well, which I think is really cool. Um, this doesn't normally come in the box. These were two sets of extra scales that Slip Joint Sawyer had with the giveaway. Here you can see a couple of the colors. There are loads of other colors as well, including purple and red. So, looking more closely at it, we can see that the closed length is 90 millimeters or three and a half inches. Opening it up, it's got a great sound to it. Open, it's 160 millimeters or six and a quarter inches. Closing it back up, you can see it's got a really good walk and talk where you can hear that. It has a three quarter stop and then opening up fully and again a stop closing it and then back to closed. Really nice walk and talk on this. You can see the nail nick there and the swedging on the blade. Let's take a closer look at that. So here we can see the steel, it's N690. I'll put a picture here. Now N690 is similar to 440C but with added copal on vanadium which gives it high hardness and excellent wear resistance. So here we can see the stylish nail nick and the swedging. Now the blade length is 70 millimeters or two and three quarter inches. You can see the jimping on the underside of the blade. There is a sharpening notch as well. You can see the real steel logo. The wire pocket clip is reversible and it's deep carry, as you can see. It's quite tight. The weight of this is 65 grams or 2.3 ounces, so it's not too heavy at all. Looking at the thickness of the blade, it's 2.6 millimeters thick or 0.1 inches. As well as this drop point blade, it's also available in a clip point as well which you can see on the Real Steel website. 
So looking at this, just a last look at the fit and finish. It's really good, actually. It's made in China, but you can see they've got really good QC. Uh, the blade's well-centered. There are no big gaps. It's a really nice knife overall. If you look at the G10 scales as well, you can see there's a really grippy area and a smooth area to sort of give it the, the effect of a Barlow. A really nice knife. I can recommend it to anybody and uh, I'm glad to have it in my collection. I'm going to be passing it on as part of the UK Travelling Knife series, so look out for it popping up on somebody else's channel. If you haven't already, why not subscribe? It really helps me to know that I'm making the right sort of content. I've got loads more already. Why not check out this video or this playlist? Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.